Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the today's video, I want to talk about the importance of health and how to quickly improve it. So let's get started. Health is, in my opinion, one of the most important factor in the life of every single person. We all realize the importance of health when we're getting sick. Even if it's just a small flu, we feel really miserable. And all we think about is that we want to get back to our good health condition, to have more energy again, to do the things that we love normally. You could be even the richest guy on this planet. You could have the greatest life, meet a lot of important, cool people, travel around the world all the time. If you're sick, you will not be able to do that anymore. So therefore, it's really important to focus on, on health. However, in the normal life of a very busy person, health is oftentimes the topic that they do not care um, much about. Oftentimes the first thing to cut is the numbers of hours they sleep. They avoid eating healthy food or, or food at all throughout the day. And third, they also oftentimes yeah, stop doing exercises because they do not find the time and importance of doing that. However, as I said before, it's a very important part and um, yeah, health was a very important factor throughout my entire life. Since a very young age, I was basically playing football every day. And without even knowing, I was yeah taking care of my body, for, of my health in a very good way. And uh, later on, I studied medicine. So I learned a lot about how to live a healthy life, how to avoid and treat diseases. So therefore, I think, um, yeah, I can, I can give a lot of advice um, to other people. How to get started. The first thing you need to do is probably very different to what most people think they should do. So the first thing is not to just go out and start to go jogging or something like that. The first step is really to change your identity. In my opinion, most people probably think about themselves that they are not really a sporty person, they are not really doing a lot of exercises. So that's the first step. Tell yourself that you are a sporty person, that you are an athlete. Of course, I know this sounds a bit weird because just by telling yourself nothing really big changes. However, you really need to get this belief in yourself that you are actually that kind of person that you want to be um, as the first step. And then, of course, you need to start doing um, sports activities to prove yourself, to get to a positive feedback loop where you're showing yourself this is actually true. I am an athlete. I can tell that to myself and to other people because I'm doing sports three, five, or even seven times a week. And now we need to think about what kind of sports should we do. And basically, there are two different kind of things we should do. So the first is the physical activity. And the second one is the muscle strength activity. We should do around 150 to 300 minutes of um, moderate intensity physical activity per week, which includes things like walking um, at a speed of maybe four miles per hour or cycling at a speed of around 10 to 12 miles per hour 
could include things like uh, playing badminton or a tennis double. The second option for physical activity would be to do vigorous intensity physical activity of around 75 to 150 minutes per week. And that would include um, activities like um, walking so or jogging at a speed of 6 miles per hour or going cycling at a speed of around 12 to 14 miles per hour, playing a single tennis match, playing a basketball match, playing a football match, just to give a few examples. And the second thing would be strength muscle activities at a moderate or greater intensity of all uh, major body muscles around two to three times a week. Now we got the goal what we want to do. We should be doing physical activities and muscle strength activities. Of course, at the beginning, we start very slow. I would recommend to start with doing one time per week physical activity and one time per week muscle strength activities. And then slowly you start to increase that to two or three times a week to get to the daily routine. Furthermore, I would recommend you to start doing these activities at a very a short time, like around maybe start with 20 minutes at the beginning and then slowly start to increase that up to 60 minutes. Because I can guarantee you when you start doing that for the first time, you will feel a lot of pain around your muscles and um, you really need to rest for at least one week until you can continue to do that um, to the next time. However, slowly you will realize that you're able to do more and more um, physical or muscle strength activities without feeling very tired. The next important factor is to figure out what kind of activity you actually like. So, for physical activity, you could do jogging, you could go hiking, you could go cycling, you could go swimming, you could play tennis, basketball, football. There's a lot of things uh, you can do. And you should do something that you really enjoy doing because the goal is to do that basically until you're very old. For muscle strength activities, I would really recommend to do that in a gym at the beginning because you're not really, um, yeah, you, you do not know enough basically at the beginning how to do these exercises and what kind of exercise you need to, to work on all the major big uh, body muscles. So that's very helpful. There are coaches that teach you how to do it and um, work with you. Another important factor, in my opinion, is to not do sports alone. So I believe it's very helpful to have like a friend or a coach around you. You can do the activities with or even do it with a group of people. So when you're in a group, um, it's much more motivating and um, also, of course, um, it's, it's more pressure to actually do the activities and, and show up and then doing these things. Now, of course, should be people that are around your level. So if somebody's way too fast or too slow, that, that's not, not fun to do it with this person or this kind of group. Besides that, also you should always track your activity. So write down on a calendar or I personally use an app. That's a really cool thing where you write down, I did sports 20 minutes of jogging at this or that day. And then at the end, you can really track like, oh, okay, in this week or in this month, in this year, I did so and so many times of uh, jogging activities. Um, because you need, need to track your activities to really stay focused, motivated, and actually doing the thing. Otherwise, you you you're not establishing a routine 
at the beginning. Um, that's just too hard for our bodies to, to develop that um, without um, further um, focus on, on these kind of things. At least at the beginning when you start to establish a routine. Later on, it probably would be much easier. But still, I, I think tracking your, your, uh, your records is, is a really, really cool thing um, to also, yeah, like I said at the beginning, get the identity of being an athlete and then showing yourself that you're, you're living the life that, that you want to live and, um, and getting to the point um, that you want to be at the end.